Okay, this video is going to be done in two parts. Hello. This is my helper. I would explain in a minute. Oh, something popped up on your laptop. We are currently in the hotel. Uh, but because we want to kind of use the stuff that we buy, as we buy it, in a sense. Um, for yeah. example, we were in pennies today. I'm currently wearing the shorts. You think that I use not doing justice? <laughs> on the shorts? No. No, I don't really bright. So I'm currently wearing the shorts. Look at that. <laughs> that I bought. So that is what we mean by we want to use the stuff as you buy them. Green is my assistant because there's like a little unit here beside me that I have everything kind of piled up on. So he's going to hand me stuff and I'll talk about it basically. So today's day one of the holiday. We have been vlogging it. You would have seen it or you will see it, whatever way it goes up. Um, but this is day one shopping. We said in the previous vlog, the other stuff we bought today was food. So we went to Supermax. We went to Boston Donut. Offbeat Donut. Went to Offbeat Donut, went to Insomnia, um, we went to Costa. We got Butler's chocolates. Um and what else did we buy? That's everything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I also went into yours clothing and pennies. So we did they're the places that we've gone today, that's what we bought, besides the likes of Coke Zero or whatever. Besides that, that's all we've bought. So the first, I'm just going to show you the thing I got in yours clothing, which is just tights. So it is. So in yours clothing, I buy my black tights, which you would have seen me wearing in the vlog, and will have seen me wearing a number of different times. Yeah, a number of different times. Um, I buy them. They're expensive, but they fit and they're comfortable. So I wanted to get what we grew up calling tan tights. We grew up calling them tan tights, but they're basically sheer tights. So dear, so it's these tights here. So I got three pack that are ladder resistant tights. They are 20 denier and they're in size three, which is not the biggest size they do, but it's a size bigger than what I normally get in there. Well, what I should be getting in there because I want the comfort. So it's basically look, skin, skin colored tights. I wanted them for the warmer days for when it starts getting really warm in, but my legs. <laughs> are a bit red and prickly and just not looking very good so they were actually really expensive but for three pairs i got them for 14 euro pretty expensive yes but well worth it so that's the only thing outside of pennies that we got or that i got and um, want to show your stuff first mm -hmm. right so graham's stuff i'm gonna move the camera back actually because it's very close to me graham got only got three things today at the moment but yeah, we still have two more, more days yeah. so we still have wednesday and thursday to go shopping so we're grand so the first thing he got for, how much was it, 8 euro, mm -hmm. is these. Now, they don't look like the right colour on camera, but they are this kind of, pink. they're pink, they're like a hot pink kind of colour, which I love. He's trying to wear bright clothes because all he wears is black. So we're trying to get him, well, black and camo, <laughs> as it is at the moment. Don't mind my hair, oh, by the way. It's very messy. He got himself a pair of pajamas, a pajama set for seven euro. So it's a top and shorts with this kind of pine tree, coconut tree kind of thing on it. Palm tree. Palm tree, not pine tree. Palm tree even. You can tell I'm tired or not well. Anyway, he got these for seven euro, which he's gonna get changed into so you will see in the vlog. And then he got this nice blue zippy. Which is a nicer blue zippy than what I wear in work, and I wear a blue zippy in work. So I go to show they don't get good ones. This was a tenner. Did you get yourself one to fit the zippy you like blue in here? No, because mine has a logo. Mm. I know. But it's this beautiful blue hoodie. So it is, it got for a tenner. So it's probably my temper just for half. Probably, yeah. I spilled coffee on my one today. Sad. Sad problem. Right, then on to all the stuff that I got, because obviously I got a lot of stuff. So let's start with this pile. Okay, so for those who don't know, I like to collect these. They are landlords. I have some from concerts. Graham bought me a mermaid one, I want to say. It has my keys on it at home. But I found a Disney one for four euro, which just is a lot better. I love it a lot more than the usual. The usual, whenever I go to pennies, I always pick up face masks. But I haven't gotten, I hadn't picked up the sheet mask of this in a while i'd only gotten one so i got three amethyst sheet masks and of course 
I only had one packet of these, which is very sad. But I'll it have another look. Tomorrow. I'll keep an eye out in the pennies there. If not, they're easy enough to get in Dundrum. So, and we will be going to Dundrum in a couple of weeks. That'll be grand. But I got my under eye strips, which I'm obsessed with. The Amethyst ones. This I did just try on, and oh my god, I, I thought it was gonna be like just under the ass. It was gonna be really short. My mum be telling me, "No, you're not allowed to wear it." But it's actually to the knee. It's a beautiful. It's like it's kind of feels knitted, but it has these like really cute daisy on it. It's a little skirt. It's like a little pencil skirt kind of thing, which I'm obsessed with. Like, it is so cute. I actually need to go get more. I don't even know how much I paid for it because I took the tag off. Oops. But I don't this tag. I just couldn't find it. A tenner. I paid a tenner for that. That's not bad for a cute little summer spring skirt that I could wear with a lot of stuff. So I'm really happy with that. Graham got himself a bath bomb yeah, for his bath. Tomorrow. I will have to pick up more because I had a bath earlier. And it was really, really, really nice. You threw in your zoo out on little Yeah, I had a bath fizzer and I had a, an old lush bath bomb that I had been dying to use. And it was amazing, turned the water purple. Won't be putting the bubbles in next time because that really messed it up on me because my hair got completely drenched in suds. And I ended up having to get a shower straight after it, which is really annoying. Here, here's another funny thing because I forgot to say to you. Let's see how the hotel uh, accepts a purple towel we're being returned. <laughs> Yeah, I had to lean a towel against my head because I couldn't keep my head up. It's a very long back. I yeah, it's the same wall. length as grain. <laughs> but anyway, he got himself a bath bomb for 150 And then these I can't find, but you know, I always sleep with them. But the elastic stretches really quickly. So whenever I buy them, I buy them in bulk. I haven't been able to find them and I've been holding mine together with elastic bands. As in clothes in the back with it. But I found my lavender eye masks, which I sleep with at night. These are three quid each and I'm obsessed with them. I love sleeping with them at night. They're so comfortable and yeah, I just love them. So I got three of them because I can't guarantee I'm going to get more um, anytime soon because Dublin, Dundrum and Dunleary and I think Nookrove we went to didn't have any. So I was very upset. Um, I've been obsessed with Penny's white socks recently. So I got a whole nother packet of the white ankle socks because I've just been obsessed with them. They're only three euro. And I absolutely adore them. So I do. By the way, the lighting in this room is from a lamp. That's beside me. Because I don't want the main lights on. Um, I was journaling. For those who watch the Life Goals videos. I was journaling. And I was trying to keep have like different journals for different things. Food. Um, dates. Like birthdays and all like that. Things I've done each day. How I felt. That kind of thing. It wasn't going very well because I actually found it too stressful trying to remember everything and trying to remember to actually write in it every single day. I've ended up being like a month and a half behind and I was like, I'm not doing this. It's too stressful. So true it out. So I got a new diary for the year. So I'm going to start it off from when I get back. I'll start it and I'll just start from like May, April, May, whatever. April. I'll start from the April basically and go from there until next April or whatever. So I will. So that was only six euros, so I'm pretty happy with that. Got myself a new little bag. I have been using that little, other little small pennies bag, but you can't really fit much in it. It's very finicky with your phone and all like that. So I found this one. It's this cute little box bag, and it's like light pink with a bit of with a white trim, and then a little black one. Long black handle that you can shorten. It has two pockets, so this pocket here is a little bit smaller. So I'm thinking put the phone in there so that you can just take the phone in and out easily. And then like your money and like your lipstick or whatever in here so that they're kind of out of the way and not getting in the way of getting the phone out. It was only eight euro. I'm obsessed with the colour. I think there is like a big handbag in Dunn's that kind of matches this, which I would be very happy if I can get because I would love like a matching little set. Plus I have a going home outfit in mind that I want to wear. So fingers crossed I can get a t-shirt and all to go with this because that'd be so cool. Okay, so that's the bag. Then I'll see about changing into these. I'm quite comfortable in what I'm in, I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite comfy in the t shirt I was wearing today and just the shorts, so I might just wear this to bed. But tomorrow I'll be wearing this, which is this cute little short set. So it's these little shorts with little love hearts all over them, and it's like a pale pink kind of color. It's a pajama set, you can put them bits off, but it's this cute. 
Strong Girls Club. I just realised it's written on the back as well as the front. Mm -hmm. So it's written at the front there, and then when you flip it around, it's written in big on the back. And it's slightly cropped. So it is. I love the top of this. Of this. If I end up not using the shorts, I don't mind. It was a tenner, so it was. Um, so if I end up not using the shorts off it, which I more than likely won't because they're very, very short. They're the type of ones that go up your bum quite a lot with every step that you take. So, but if I end up not using them, I'm not going to be too upset because I love the, the style of the top. Talking about sets though. <laughs> I got another pair of black runners. These are so handy. Like I have my light purple ones, which would go perfect with my little skirt and my little bag now. The whole pastel look, I have them. But I need a little pair of black runners for nights out where I don't want to wear heels kind of thing or any of my boots so I got little black runners for that purpose Um, the next couple of bits are all Winnie the Pooh so don't I got go crazy this I did put on after my shower it is completely see through so not great for walking around in but it's this cute little semi crop well it's a crop top but I call it loungewear and it has a little pooh bear on it a little honey pot I don't know how much this was because I took the price off because I was supposed to wear it out of the shower. But it's really, really cute and it's really soft. Then three fifty for these socks. So you get this design. You get a little piglet design. Oops, did I actually say so? In the meadow garden. Oh, it says in the meadow garden. Wing the poo in the meadow garden. And then this is like just wing the poo. So you've got green, white and blue in that. Then I have a Winnie the Pooh throw at home, but I got rid of the duvet that it matched with because it was completely stained, couldn't clean it. My rabbit decided to eat it, and then the rabbits decided to pee on it, which you would have seen in the video. So we went in the bin. So I'm going to throw out the duvet, or the throw that goes with it. And I got a new one, which actually has a nice little quote on it. It says, be positive, be kind, which I love. So that's the design of it. So this was eight year old, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I cannot wait to put that on my bed. And it's finally getting there. Thank God. And then of course, I can't go to pennies without getting new slippers. I don't even know how much these were. Because I can't find the price. Seven. And I got these. I'm going to pick up one other pair. Because I, I want to have two pairs. At home. But these are cute. Kind of like a pastel green. With like little flowers. And a little poo there. Poo bear. So I'm obsessed with that. So that's everything we got today. There will be more gotten. So this is going to continue into another day now. So we'll see you on the next bit of the haul. Didn't want to click on record, so I didn't. Um, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the haul. Sorry if I look a bit weird. I actually fell asleep. Well, we fell asleep, like deep sleep. So we did. All that walking today really knocked us out. Right. Another part to the haul video. I don't know if there's going to be another part for tomorrow. Um, If we don't get on tomorrow, I'll just do an end clip tomorrow. But just in case we do buy stuff, um, I don't know what to do with this. I will explain it in the vlog, but one of my holes in my ear is closed up. So now I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. I think I'll just leave it in my bell, my bell bag. There we go. It, it can sit in there. I don't know. It's a spare earring now and I don't want to lose it. Right. We went to a couple of different places today. So we did. Um... I can't remember the names or prices for everything because some places didn't actually have tags or didn't have um, receipts or anything working, so bear with me. But I do want to show you my going home outfit. I said I was going to wear this little skirt with my runners, but I couldn't find a top to go with it. But what I did find was these cute little shorts. We went into yours clothing. So these cute little bicycle shorts. Now, they're long. They're down to your knee. Uh, yours clothing is expensive but the clothes is well worth it like 100% worth it um, because they go in like super big sizes Um, I got these in a slightly bigger size sorry Graham's gone out for dinner so I'm just waiting for him to come back Um, these were 13 euro but I got them in a size 24 which is something I don't like saying my size online but I'm going to say it anyway got them in a size 24 so they fit me comfortably Um, so they're the little shorts that I got to go underneath a dress that Graham bought me which I do have a picture of. Oh, I'll get a nicer picture though. And you'll see it in the vlog. But this was 18 euro. I got it in a size 22 to 24. 
and it's this beautiful pink color I have to move back a little bit and you can see it kind of goes in at the waist then flowy at the bottom nice basic t-shirt kind of sleeves and it's not too low or high necked so it's a cute little top now it's not too long it is above the knee so the shorts are on show so my idea for going home is wearing the ladder resistant tights with my little white shorts that dress and my little runners with little white socks on so that's my going home outfit right we went into pennies again because i wanted to get this in another color as i had said graham got himself a pair of tracksuit bottoms for seven euros just nice basic gray trackies the ones that i like which don't go in on the end didn't realize until now um but he got himself tracksuit bottoms because he'd only brought uh, his camo shorts and two pairs of jeans with him away he forgot to bring a pair of long tracksuit bottoms and he was afraid it was gonna be like really really cold so he wanted to get himself tracksuit bottoms but i mean it's turned out we got amazing weather like it's like 15 degrees nowhere to go and sit out sadly and like sunbather kind of thing like just sit in the sun but oh well right the whole reason i went in oh did everything with the hangers i hate when they leave me with the hangers so friggin hate hangers anyway the whole reason i went in was for my 10 euro skirt but it's this pastel blue look look how cute so now i have it in pastel blue it has the little daisies and i have it in the kind of lilac lavender color I'm obsessed. If they bring out more colours in this skirt, I'm going to be in love. Um, then I wanted to get a brightly coloured zippy jumper because I only have black zippy jumper. I have bright coloured like over the heads, but we're coming into kind of spring kind of weather where it's both hot and cold and I don't want to be taking an over the head on and off. What do? So a zippy jumper is the way to go. So Graham found, he did find a pink one, but it was over the head. So instead he found this nice red one uh, in the men's department and he got it for me in a 2XL for 10 euro. Uh, I like my comfort so I like it big and baggy. And then a couple of other little bits I got to try because I'm trying to, I'm trying to sort out my skin as you know. So at the moment I have the boot stuff but I also got this, it's 4 euro, it's a brightening eye gel but it's vitamin C. So I got that to try. I'm doing like a whole face thing tomorrow. So I will. Then I found this again for Euro. It's a brightening serum. Vitamin C. So that might be interesting. And then the PS Futures Bright Facial Serum with uh, oh Hydro no Hydroloric Acid Watermelon and Pineapple Extract. So it's hydra help to hydrate the skin. Again for Euro and this is actually pretty big for four euro like i will admit oh nice packaging as well i like it i like that now i'd be very sad if i like these and they end up working and i can't actually get them again so if i i might i'm gonna have to take a picture of them and if i end up running out and i do like using them i'm gonna have to ask people to look for them for me <laughs> um i decided to try this it's the cbd mascara in future natural cbd oil and um, was 350 i don't know if it's meant to help your eyelashes grow and be thicker or what but i kind of want to give it a go i'm kind of curious it was only 350 as well so i was like you know what may as well so that was pennies then we got my nephew a little gift i don't know if we're really bringing people home at uh, we might have a look tomorrow and see what we can get people in my house i might bring them home stuff i'm not too sure we'll see but Graham found, saw this and my nephew's obsessed with WWE at the moment so he was like oh no I'll pick that up for Kyle because Kyle is liking WWE right now and sorry he's liking his wrestling at the moment so we're like you know what we'll get it from so we will Um, I went into boots I said and I picked up my forehead migraine patches they're grand I love having them they're so handy just to have in the drawer and I feel like something's in my eye. I don't know. Anyway. Obviously we went done as you can see. But I went into deals and they had these cute little sets. 
little painting sets. They had a critic, but this is a watercolor one and it's a landscape. But it's like the cherry blossom trees that I'm obsessed with. Obsessed with. I found out how to say it in Japanese, which is sakura. Uh, but they're called cherry blossoms, basically. And I'm obsessed with them. And this is a watercolor kind of activity. So you get the paint, two paintbrushes, and three pieces. I think three things to color. And it kind of gives you a, a kind of a guide at the back step-by-step -step guide as to what to do um so i'm looking forward to doing that at some point um went into easton's graham got a little postcard so he did he likes picking up postcards places um i don't even know what's in this bag besides a load of receipts because they're all in my face go away receipts my sunglasses oh yeah right we're in tk max we forgot to bring games with us to play in the hotel or on the train so oops so Graham picked up a pack of Star Wars The Last Jedi pop drums to play so they'll be interesting oh yeah we went out this we met a woman in the elevator yesterday uh, or was it this morning could have been this morning after breakfast actually and we were going up to our room and she turned around and said that there's she was like is this your first time here we were like yeah so she told us to go out the door and go right and there's loads of beautiful little shops and uh, so we're like okay we'll take her up on her offer and we found this nice little shop called rosebud craft studios um oh they're on facebook okay and they have an online shop so that's pretty cool i'm gonna have a look at that um i didn't actually know she had online but it's an irish run family business designing and hand making crafts uh, craft items so they do like jewelry and everything and, and it's all made out of like natural crystals and everything um so it is i think they have a facebook as well but yeah i found that little shop and they do crystals and incense and essential oils and all so i found a orange essential oil for four euro which is actually a pretty good price um normally they're a lot dearer but i mean some pearls were a lot dearer depending on what the oil is depends on how dear it is um oh i picked up the wrong one dang it i might have another look in the shop tomorrow i accidentally picked up sagittarius i was supposed to pick up scorpio i would have sworn that said scorpio anyway she does these they're little birthstones your birth crystal i'm gonna have to say that to graham that's actually had to make me so sad. I don't swear to God that said Scorpio when I picked it up. I'll say it to Graham because I may. I'll probably run back into her tomorrow. So I will. And either ask her, can I change it? Or can I change it for something else? That's really upsetting now. <laughs> uh, the last thing, anyway, that I got today, my cousin actually recommended. It's 15 euro. It's from Dunn's. It is a, I can't pronounce Savadi, Dunn's bag, but she has this in pink. So the pink bag that you saw previously from Penny's, it's quite similar to that. The, her handle is a little bit different though. Her strap has like a, like a checkered design on it of white and pink. So this one is a striped lilac pink and white strap. Again, can go longer and has a little pocket at the back. For stuff it has the two zips here which again oh no for two separate pockets okay that's grand and my pink one is one big pocket i figured out i was like oops but anyway there's two separate pockets and then there's like a little bit here so i'd probably just like in that little bit would just be like head like my w wired headphones or maybe my leap card or something for when i'm on the train but um it's a cute little bag it's 15 quid I've been admiring her one so much and it'll go brilliantly with my little going home outfit that I have. So it will. Um, so yeah, I don't know if there's going to be much else going in. I'm not too sure because we kind of pretty much went everywhere. Now obviously I have to go out tomorrow and see if I can change that for something or for my birthstone because I didn't realise I got the wrong one as I said. Uh, but I'll talk to Graham about that when he gets back. But I don't think there's going to be much more put into the haul. Um... But we'll let you know. Uh, if I, as I said, if we don't get out tomorrow, um, or on Friday, when we get back to Bray on Friday, I'll just quickly or on the weekend I'll record an ending. 
to the video and it'd be grand. So for now, I'm going to leave you. It's kind of hanging for a second. Uh, well, for me, it's a couple of days. For you, it'll be like a millisecond. So I'll see you in the next little clip. Okay, part three of this uh, haul video. I'm tired because I have a headache. I'm going to go off and put my grain patch on in a minute. But I was talking to grain, so we've both decided that this little part is going to be the last part of the haul video because and we're not buying anymore. We won't be buying that in tomorrow besides food, and I'm not really going to put that in the video. Hi, peeps. Um, I'm not going to put that in the video, so. Um, a few bits today. So, you don't notice I've been wearing hair bands. Look at the colour of my hair. It is just, I don't know what colour it is anymore. Um, but I don't like it. Because, like, there's this really bleach blonde looking bit here at the front. But there's also bits of pink in it. Bits of light brown. Bits of, I don't bleed and know what in it. So, I text my cousin. I obviously text my mom and talk to Graham about it because I'm not meant to be dyeing my hair. But I need to change the cutter because I'm going crazy. So one thing that I bought, I my mom's been putting off buying it. But I was like, do you know what? I'm buying it. Do you want it? I'll buy it. So it was like €9. Euro. It's this root spray. So you spray it into your roots. And I think it washes out. So it does. Like after whatever. But... You basically spray it into your roots and it turns your roots from this grey colour like what I have to brown and makes it look better because she got her hair done in the hairdressers and they're like do you want me to spray your root and she was like okay so I think they had dark brown but I just got generic brown because the other one was blonde so I got that I got painkillers for tonight because I'm hoping to just take two Panadol night and go to bed but the colour I'm going to be putting in on, on the weekend because I'm not the shower head isn't very strong here to do with hair plus we're going out tonight for dinner but I got this it is the L'Oreal Par Paris Casting Cream Gloss No Ammonia Conditioning Colour Ultra Glossy Colour Rich Shimmering Tones uh, Optimal Grey Coverage Intensely Conditioning for Satin Soft Voluptuous Hair, hair. Sup Grey is beside me uh, the conditioner has honey in it and it lasts up to 28 washes and the shade is amber it is 645 amber so it is uh, so it is a dark blonde a copper and a mahogany all in one so I'm going to put that in uh, on the weekend when we are back in grey and I can sit down and relax doing it uh, the other thing we went to pennies We, well, hang on. we went to Golden Disc. Graham ran to Golden Disc, so I got myself this. It's the new Scream movie. It's the new Scream. It's not too bad. Um, Honestly, with the way the Scream franchise is going, they could have ended on either four or five, but I think they're talking about a sixth one. And I'm just like, no, no. They're getting as bad as Fast and Furious. So they are. Like, Fast and Furious is bad enough as is. But anyway... We went pennies because I wanted to get t-shirts to go with them two little skirts but we also want to pick up presents so because we as you saw in the, in the beginning of this we got my nephew the pop figure so we got this for Steve yeah. so this is for my brother the Batman t-shirt he's been getting into the old Batman as well and then as a joke for my dad my nephew's obsessed with uh, Super Mario at the moment he had taken my I had yeah sorry I had thrown out my old Mario and he had taken it my dad did. No problem. All right. Well, I got this from my dad. He can uh, match with Sorry. Kyle, <laughs> which he's gonna be obsessed with because he's gonna go off and go. Look, Kyle, we match. No. <laughs> um, they were six euro each, I think, were they? Uh, they were seven euro each. Sorry, I'm looking at the price here. I'm trying to look at the prices. Then I got this is one T-shirt I got for three euro to go with my skirt. So it's this cute kind of college T-shirt. It says college K L Y N uh pro athlete bro athlete broad athlete bro athlete I don't know it's a cute little pink top that I thought might match my skirt colour wise it does style wise we'll see but it's still super cute then I got this just because it's Dumbo 
This was six euro. Yeah, it takes Dumbo. I don't have any Dumbo stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna get a Dumbo top. And then the last t-shirt I got in pennies to go with my skirts is because I thought this would be super cute with it. Look, Powerpuff Girls. I just thought that'd be super cute with the little skirt. So I got like little generic t-shirts. Um, that's not everything I got. One sec. Ugh. Got milkshakes as well. Fucking hell. This bag weighs a ton. Uh, it's in Graham's bag. Oh yeah, that's why it weighs a ton. Graham picked up cans of coke. Well, we were out. Oh uh, no, now it's falling forward. Fucking hell. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, the reason it's falling forward is because there you go. Uh, I write stories. I love writing my stories, but my notebooks that I have at home, they're just all over the place. I've got about 10 notebooks, two of which have multiple story sections, but the pages are falling out, the covers are falling off, and it's just a complete mess. So, I went into Bookstation, and, sorry for the noise, by the way, I got, ugh, one, I got these cute little pens for two euro, one for each of my notebooks, because I got three of these, so, oh, I got three new journals, or notepads, these are not the Puka ones, but they're like the Puka, they're like the knockoff Puka ones. These are the Supreme stationery ones. They're seven euro each. But basically what I do at home is I separate my stories into these little tabs. So I do. But what I mean by mine are falling apart. This front piece here. The protective basically pieces. Uh, the back has gone off my notebook. And the front is about to fall off my notebook. Along with a load of pages. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to hand write out my stories again. Into these. Have them all organised. Then I know where all my stories are. And then I can get like little sticky notes and like put like a little sticky note in and be like, right, this one needs to be retyped, this one needs to be edited, this one needs this, put it, and I can organize myself a bit better. So I got three pens, one for each of the notebooks, so that I always have a pen with my notebooks, is the plan. And then the last thing I got, so in the last video I had gone to the crystal shop, uh, Rosebud Craft Studios, to get, because I found, I found it and I got the little oil. The orange essential oil and I got my birth or what I thought was my birthstone, but it turned out to be Sag Sagittarius. Um so I'm gonna ask my mother if she know anyone beside like I think my aunt Christina, but I don't know if she's into crystals or anything like that. I know she is December, I know she's Sagittarius, but I don't know if uh, I think she's Sagittarius anyway. I just realised it might not be till the end of December. But anyway. I'm just wondering, does she know anyone that it has the birth date within that? And if she does she can take and give to them. So I went back to get my Scorpio one, which is this one. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of it. But that's it there. So this is my birthstone. So I got my little birthstone, so I'm happy with that. That's going to go up on my board um, at home. And then I decided, because we got my nephew a uh, present, that... I saw one that had my, my ma's birth date on it, which is Obsidian. I don't know how nice name but. There. Obsidian. Snowflake Obsidian to be precise. Hello. Snowflake Obsidian to be precise, which is one of my favourites. So that's technically Graham and my ma's, but they only had one of them. So, Graham. I'm not going to argue. It's a stone. <laughs> so Graham was gracious enough to let my mammy get it. So that's a present for my ma. So I need to put all them kind of separate. But um, I managed to get my birthstone. I managed to get the Scorpio, which I'm happy about. But that's everything besides like food and all that we got. And we'll be getting. Um, so that's pretty much the end of the video. Long ass haul because I like to talk. But we got quite a few things, which is quite good. Not too much though in the sense. Like it is all fitting in suitcases. Like we... There's not much to go into a big pennies bag that we have. Like, we've got two big pennies bags now. Thinking we we're going to need two bags. But, oh, there's that spot that's been annoying me. But, we actually don't need that. Need both of them. No, we probably will need one. We'll need but one, but... Depending on the towels. I'd say the big one... Because the towels will fill up. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah so we didn't really get much in the sense of like we didn't overbuy like we got stuff that we wanted or have been wanting for a while so but um hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have give it a thumbs up and hopefully you've enjoyed all the holiday content that we've been uploading or um uploading whatever way this is going up um and we'll see you in the next video bye, bye.